Hello and welcome again to this video in which we will now start learning about arrays and later we will proceed to pointers and then functions. So to start with I declared an integer array of five elements. When you declare the array normally you have to tell it how many numbers you want. However there are variable length arrays also we will see that later. First we will see fixed length uh, arrays. So 5 element array. Now we run a loop and we print the values. Then we run the loop and take input for 5 elements. And then we print those values. And now we try to compute the sum. So I have a variable sum is equal to 0 and then we iterate through the array. N note down the syntax how it is uh, uh, handled. So I do sum plus is equal to array and then I compute the sum squared and sum cubed and then I compute how many number of elements are in array. A few things are in order. An array uh, uses sequential uh, bytes in memory. So if you do not have that much memory, array will not be allocated. That is the first point. Second point is that in C, arrays start with index 0. That is why these loops are running from 0 and not from 1. Third point is, these arrays which we have, this array A is on stack. We'll talk about the memory model very soon. So for now, you think that it's a piece of memory which is like 8 MB, which you can see here. So you see, there is a command U limit so you print and you will have your stack size here. So stack size is 8 MB. Now stack is, uh, this, this array A is stored in this stack. And if by any means you overflow this, then you will reach the website stackoverflow.com. That it, it will cause stack overflow and then your code, code will have a segmentation fault. That is, you will receive a sig seg v, signal for segment violation, and then your program will crash and we will see how uh, <coughs> not to reach that stage how not to re reach uh, sig seg v and we'll learn about this signal also when we deal with the signal function because i have already told about the uh, sigint uh, that is uh, interrupt signal when we handle the infinite loops to continue with our array it is zero indexed and uh, then it will it has five elements then it will indexes are from 0 to 4 now this causes confusion even though you have five elements clearly the index range is 0 to 4 one less than what is mentioned here so that's why this loop runs in this particular fashion i is equal to 0 to i less than 5 one more thing is in c you do not have any bound checking on array it is your responsibility as a programmer to uh, give it correct index values. That is, if you supply a value of i is equal to 5 and try to get the value of a i a5, then C is not going to protect you there. You have to take that care yourself. Languages like Java or many other languages have exceptions which say array out of bounds exception. C does not give you that. One of the reasons is because of efficiency. The moment you put a check on array bounds, your program will have to have perform certain checks each time you access the index. Now that is going to be a penalty on performance. That is one of the reasons C never had this and probably will never have because C was meant for efficiency. Remember that C was written in 1970s and at that time it was supposed to replace assembly language for operating system programming. Therefore, efficiency was paramount because in 1970 we didn't have uh, processors running in order of gigahertz. And uh, you should look at the code of uh, this sum and sum squared and sum cubed. This is trivial and is easy to understand. Let's do its run and uh, try to understand this. Okay, array so dot slash array. So it printed initially all zeros because it has a special initialization syntax. We'll talk more about initialization of arrays later also. 
so now it is asking me 25 value 1 2 3 4 5 now it has printed me the sums and the array also you can verify the values manually yourself one thing I can clearly verify is uh, the sum cubed so 15 square is 225 so it fits the formula so I can verify that much very quickly arrays can also be multi-dimensional but even multi-dimensional arrays will be stored linearly in memory because what uh, we have got in memory is like a linear flat structure normally you should not declare very large arrays but rather you should use pointers and do allocation on heap but pointers will have uh, its own problem uh, like you will have to uh, um, free them from memory that is deallocate the memory which you have allocated otherwise it will cause memory leak and so on arrays are pretty neat and uh, they are very fast the retrieval is of the order of one because you access by index there is something called base address or the base element we'll see them as we go along to begin with i have given this small example and uh, i'll see you in my next video in which uh, we will try with the multi-dimensional arrays and we'll then proceed to some examples like uh, matrix operations and we'll see more uses of array how we can use it thanks for watching the video see you in our next video